Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer on Monday the 20th of February 2023. Our evening prayer begins, O God, make speed to save us, O Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And our hymn for this evening is Oft in Danger, Oft in Woe. <clears throat> oft in danger, oft in woe, onward Christians, onward go. Bear the toil, maintain the strife, strengthened with the bread of life. Onward, Christians, onward go, join the war and face the foe. Will ye flee in dangers? Ah, know ye not your captain's power. Let no sorrow dim your eye, soon shall every tear be dry. Let not fears your cause impede, great your strength if great your need. Let your drooping hearts be glad, march in heavenly armour clad, Think nor fight the battle long, soon shall victory wake your soul. Onward then in battle move, more than conquerors ye shall prove. Though opposed by many a foe, Christian soldiers, onward come. This evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us, cleanse our hearts, and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Psalm 72. Give the king your judgments, O God, and your righteousness to the son of a king. Then shall he judge your people righteously and your poor with justice. May the mountains bring forth peace and the little hills righteousness for the people. May he defend the poor among the people, defend the children of the needy and crush the oppressor. May he live as long as the sun and moon endure from one generation to another. May he come down like rain upon the mown grass, like the showers that water the earth. In his time shall righteousness flourish and abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. May his dominion extend from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. May his foes kneel before him and his enemies lick the dust. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall pay tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring gifts. All kings shall fall down before him. All nations shall do him service. For he shall deliver the poor that cry out, the needy and those that have no helper. He shall have pity on the weak and the poor. He shall preserve the lives of the needy. He shall redeem their lives from oppression and violence. And dear shall their blood be in his sight. Long may he live, and to him may be given gold from Sheba. May prayer be made for him continually, and may they bless him all the day long. May there be abundance of grain on the earth, standing thick upon the hilltops. May its fruit flourish like Lebanon, and its grain grow like the grass of the field. May his name remain forever and be established as long as the sun endures. May all nations be blessed in him and call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who alone does wonderful things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And may the earth be filled with his glory. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Psalm 75. We give you thanks, O God, we give you thanks, for your name is near as your wonderful deeds declare. I will seize the appointed time, I the Lord will judge with equity. Though the earth reels and all that dwell in her, it is I that holds that hold her pillars steady. To the boasters I say, boast no longer, and to the wicked, do not lift up your horn. Do not lift up your horn on high, do not speak with a stiff neck. 
yet neither from the east nor from the west, nor yet from the wilderness comes exhortation. But God alone is judge. He puts down one and raises up another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, well mixed and full of foaming wine. He pours it out for all the wicked of the earth. They shall drink it and drain the dregs. But I will rejoice forever and make music to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked will I break, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Genesis chapter 37. Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien, the land of Canaan. This is the story of the family of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was shepherding the flock with his brothers. He was a helper to the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives, and Joseph brought a bad report of them to their father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than any of his other children because he was the son of his old age and he had made him a long rope with sleeves. But when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brothers, they hated him and would not speak peaceably to him. Once Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, listen to the dream that I dreamt. There we were, binding sheaves in the field. Suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright. Then your sheaves gathered around it and bowed down to my sheaf. His brothers said to him, are you indeed to reign over us? Are you indeed to have dominion over us? So they hated him even more because of his dreams and his words. And he had another dream and told it to his brother, saying, Look, I have had another dream. The sun, the moon, and eleven stars were bound down to me. But when he told it to his father and his brothers, his father rebuked him and said to him, What kind of dream is this that you have had? Indeed, we shall we indeed come, I and your mother and your brothers, and bow to the ground before you. So his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Here ends the first reading. And the Monday Canticle, Song of God's Grace. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. In you we have redemption through the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of our sins, according to the riches of your grace which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight the mystery of your will, according to your purpose which you set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. And the first chapter of uh, St Paul's letter to the Galatians. Paul, an apostle, sent neither by human commission nor from human authorities, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the members of God's family who are with me, to the churches of Galatia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to set us free from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory for ever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another gospel, but there are some who are confusing you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should proclaim to you a gospel contrary to what was proclaimed to you, let that one be accursed. As we have said before, so now I repeat, if anyone proclaims to you a gospel contrary to what you received, let that one be accursed. Am I now seeking human approval or God's approval, or am I trying to please people? If I were still pleasing people, I would not be a servant of Christ. For I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel that was proclaimed by me was not of human origin, nor did I receive it from a human source, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation 
of Jesus Christ. You have heard, no doubt, of my former life in Judaism. I was violently persecuting the Church of God and was trying to destroy it. I advanced in Judaism beyond many among my people of the same age, for I was far more zealous for the traditions of my ancestors. But when God, who had set me apart before I was born, called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me that I might proclaim him among the Gentiles, I did not confer with any human being, nor did I go to Jerusalem to those who were already apostles before me, but I went away once into Arabia, and afterwards I returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and stayed with him for 15 days, but I did not see any other apostle except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard it said, the one who was formerly persecuting us is now proclaiming the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. Here ends the second reading. And our responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. And the Magnificat. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, for he has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. So we come to our prayers of intercession. So we pray for the Anglican Communion. We pray today for the Diocese of Papadonta in Papua New Guinea, for its Bishop Lindsay. We continue to pray for the Estrian Mountain Mission area in the Diocese of St. Asa for St. Mary and St. David in Flint and for the development of the Table Project. We pray for the work of Archdeacons Barry and Andy and for the provincial meetings of the archdeacons taking place today. We continue to pray for the needs of the world around us, praying for the people of Ukraine and of Eastern Europe. We pray for those in Turkey and Syria, those affected by the recent earthquakes there, those who have lost livelihoods and homes and family. We pray for all those facing the cost of living crisis in our own country and for our church's response to it. We continue to pray for those who are sick, for Louise, Gordon, Joshua, Derek, Jess, Wendy and Luna, and we remember the departed, among them Barbara and Aileen. And our form of intercession. In, priest, in peace, let us pray to Jesus our Lord, whoever makes lives to make intercession for us. Saviour of the world, be present in all places of suffering and violence, and bring hope even in the darkest night. Inspire us to continue your work of reconciliation today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the Church, empowered by your Spirit, all Christian people, and the work of your Church in every land, give us grace to proclaim the Gospel joyfully in word and deed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Shepherd and guardian of our souls, guide and enable all who lead and serve this community and those on whom we depend for our daily needs. Grant that we may seek the peace and welfare of this place. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Great Physician, stretch out your hands to bring comfort, wholeness and peace to all whom we bring to you today who suffer in mind, body or spirit. Fill us with compassion that we may be channels of your healing love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Conqueror of death, remember for good those whom we love but now see no longer. Help us to live this day in the sure and certain hope of your eternal victory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us command ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Almighty Father, whose Son was revealed in majesty before he suffered death upon the cross, give us grace to perceive his glory, that we may be strengthened to suffer with him and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, fellowship with the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you very much for joining me once again this evening and uh, wish you a very peaceful evening indeed. <laughs>